A good evening, friends. Today is Tuesday, August the 20th, 2024, and the time now is 7.19 p.m. So I just want to make a brief comment about a leak that came out of Germany uh, during the weekend, and this is going to be my first uh, video for the playlist for Germany, okay? Now, this is pertaining to the idea that the German government is planning on cutting its aid to Ukraine. And this was basically being talked about in the media to the point where on Monday, the German government basically came out and stated that it is not going to turn its back or abandon Ukraine. The German government, Olaf Scholz's uh, government is saying that Germany is behind Ukraine all the way, which means that the war must continue. Germany is going to uh, put its support or continue to support Ukraine. Now, as much as one thing is coming from the media and then the German government coming out on Monday basically put into rest the whole allegation or the whole idea that Germany is planning to cut support for Ukraine. Now, since the beginning of the war, this current hot war between Russia and Ukraine, Germany has been the number two largest supporter or contributor to Ukraine. And the last time I checked, it is said that Germany has contributed up to about $15 billion or between 13 to 14 billion euros to the war effort for Ukraine to basically defend itself against Russia, however you want to say it, because that is the uh, phrase that is being used out there. Now, Germany is now saying that not only it is going to continue to support uh, Ukraine, but it announced on Monday a couple of munitions and weapons that it is going to uh, be contributing to Ukraine. And it's also stating that it is going to be training 10,000 Ukrainian troops this year and next year. Now, in terms of the whole idea of whether Germany is going to uh, cut its support to Ukraine, they are now stressing that as much as Germany could be cutting its uh, support in terms of uh, taking money out of its yearly budget, its annual budget to support Ukraine, the idea that is being pushed is that the support for Ukraine is going to come out of the money that are frozen, basically Russian assets around the world and in the West that are frozen. So now, that basically is a declaration of war, is disrespectful and is humiliating to Russia. And it is something that Russia could be uh, doing in the future and other countries could be doing in the future. It is also an action that I do believe is going to propagate or excel the reality that many countries around the world will continue to move their financial assets out of the West, out of Western banks and Western financial institutions of various sorts. This is because of fear that whenever they do something that the West doesn't like, the West is going to do the same thing to them. Now, to the question, will Germany cut military and or financial aid to Ukraine? To that, I say yes and no. Now, in terms of military aid, I do not believe that Germany is going to cut military aid to Ukraine. And basically, the sources are saying, and also, as Germany's government coming out on Monday, basically confirming that it is not going to cut military aid to Ukraine. And this is because, honestly, it is not about Ukraine. It has nothing to do with freedom and justice for Ukraine or protection for Ukraine. This is a war against Russia. It is about the defeat, the humiliation, and potentially the disintegration of Russia. And in this case, Europeans or the West are doing it safely in that they are using Ukraine or Ukrainians 
and they are not going into an all-out war with the Russians. The French under Napoleon invaded Russia. It was bad for Napoleon. The Germans did the same thing during the Second World War, and it was bad for them. They are not trying to repeat that. It does make sense for them strategically to stretch, to humiliate, to defeat, and potentially destroy Russia using somebody else's uh, uh, bodies with their bombs, guns, munition. So Germany is not going to reduce or cut military aid to Ukraine. They are going to continue to fund the war militarily in terms of using all of uh, their assets, their military assets or equipment that they have to uh, support Ukraine's effort against the Russians. Now, in terms of financial aid, it is certain. I think we have to acknowledge the fact that Germany is going to cut financial aid to Ukraine. It doesn't matter what the German uh, government is saying. By stating that, the plan now is to use frozen Russian asset to fund Ukraine. Basically, it is the same as saying, we are not going to use our own pocket. We are not going to bore holes in our pocket, in the German uh, pocket to support Ukraine. What about we use $300 billion of asset, okay, Russian asset, to fund Ukraine? Basically, use Russian money to defeat Russia. In this case, Germany doesn't have to go into debt and doesn't have to create some social, financial, economic situation at home in Germany, which will lead to people saying, hold on a second, part of this is because you are giving money to Ukraine instead of supporting the homeland. And already, as sources are saying, there is a divide between Eastern Germany and Western Germany in terms of the support for Ukraine. With uh, Western Germany in strong support and Eastern Germany is saying, hold on, you do not uh, uh, support, you do not give them uh, military or financial aid. So to be honest, I do believe that, yes, the Germans are going to cut financial aid to Ukraine and as they've said they are going to use frozen Russian asset to support the war against Russia but military aid is going to continue but that is a reason why I think this is significant so now the reason why I think the Germans are trying to cut financial aid to Ukraine I think it is economic reason. Now, I've heard people making comments stating that the Germans are doing so because news came out or report came out recently, and I think it is during the weekend, that Ukraine is responsible for the Nord Stream pipeline, the destruction of the pipeline. Now, the Germans have been getting their gas from the Russians through the Nord Stream pipeline and that Ukrainians basically destroying the pipelines. And as a result of Germany losing access to Russian gas and Russian energy, it has led to a severe impact on the German economy. That's uh, what uh, has been said. Now, as much as many will argue that it is the reason why the Germans are now trying to say, okay, we are going to cut our economic aid to Ukraine because they did this and did that. I don't think that is the reason why. Because, as they say, the ends justifies the means. This whole thing is about destroying Russia. It is about fighting Russia. So, the Germans, as much as the United States, the Americans, the French, and the British, they are dedicated in this activity in terms of their willingness and their ability to destroy uh, the Russians. But I do feel as if the whole war and the manner in which the war in Ukraine, okay, the effort of the West to fight the Russians has been happening, progressing. It seemed as if it was supposed to be a blitz. 
Russia attack, immediately wage economic war on Russia, basically bombard the Russians with what is it, 6,000 sanctions. Destroy the Russians through information, okay, or information warfare. Attack the Russians financially, freeze their assets, throw them out of SWIFT, basically fighting the Russians on all fronts. However, that plan hasn't worked, and the war continues. Now, it seems as if, despite the noise, the West is not going to go to war with Russia in Ukraine. That is because, as Barack Obama said before, the Russians do have escalatory dominance. The Russians did not declare war on the United States, did not declare war on the British, did not declare war on the French or on the Germans. Going to war against the Russians in Ukraine will basically feel as if or be that the West is putting itself into a conflict that has nothing to do with the West, basically looking for trouble. I don't see the momentum, the, the pride in Western soldiers going to war in Ukraine against uh, the Russians. I don't see morale in Western young men and women going to fight the Russians in a war in which the Russians did not uh, strike first, did not strike the West first. So in this case, it is going to be bad for the Germans, the United States, the Americans, the British, and the French. So I believe that the reason for the Germans trying to cut back their financial aid, it is economic reason. However, they are using other reasons as a means to do so. So what does that mean and why is it important? Well, I do think it means and it is important because of economic uh, factors and also because the Germans have realized, I do believe, that they overcommitted themselves into a conflict where the enemy seems to be getting stronger and stronger and stronger. The Germans, I believe, like other Europeans, have come to realize that they overly committed themselves okay they overly committed themselves and they are looking for an off ramp now let's assume the whole idea the notion that the ukrainians actually were the ones responsible for the destruction of the Nord Stream pipeline or Nord Stream 2 that ukraine actually destroyed uh, the pipeline perhaps then the germans can use this as an off-ramp. Why support a country or an institution or a people who basically have attacked us and basically crashed our economy? But it is not about the Nord Stream pipeline. It is about economics, period. The Germans want to basically reduce their commitment. Yes, they want to continue to fight the Russians. I believe so. But they want to do it in a non-committed manner where if they are not committed or they do not show themselves as committed or overly committed. In this case, they can fight the Russians all the way to hell. But as they continue to fight the Russians, when it becomes harder and problematic, the Germans can basically push back and say, we are not responsible. We did not commit. So basically... They are creating, it seems, a way that they can maneuver the system, okay, or the war effort, where they participate when it is convenient for them and basically withdraw when it is inconvenient for them. That's what it uh, appears to me. Because the truth is, let's assume that it is 2025 or the end of 2024, and the war in Russia continues, and the Ukrainians are beating the brakes out of the Russians, and in fact, the Ukrainians are basically in the outskirts of Moscow. Vladimir Putin was captured by the Ukrainians. Uh, Sergei Lavrov has been arrested by the Ukrainians, and many Russians, uh, officials, and top 
ranking uh, military personnel are basically on the run. But the entire world's economy has crashed. Do you think the Germans or the Americans or the British or the French will say, you know what, enough is enough, let's end this war? No. They are going to go for the kill. They are going to go to totally destroy Russia, occupy Russia, and basically take the, Russians, uh, the Russian resources. So this is about uh, destroying Russia. It is about fighting the Russians. However, the strategy or strategies of the West, the way the West had planned the war, hadn't come into fruition. It is basically backfiring and things are not going according to plan. And it seems, as a result, the Germans are trying to get an off-ramp. They are trying to reposition themselves where they are able to participate when it is convenient, but withdraw themselves when it is inconvenient. Now, my friends, please tell me what you think. I want to know what you think. But I want to thank you for being a member of the Echoing Voice community. And also, I want to thank you a lot for watching the Echoing Voice. Peace.